If I give it some jewels, she should be able to overtake this car. Oh, we're getting too close. We're getting too close. Yeah, okay. So let's do that back over again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark. I'm Cry. And today we are testing out 11.4.7. I'm going to put it on assertive mode and we will have Marsha take us to the park. Take us to the park. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you're having some difficulty already, eh? Putting it on assertive mode, let's see if that helps anything. Limiting speed for road type, but it's picking up um, the centerpiece here as double, double solid so, double, double solid yellow line if i give it some jewels she should be able to overtake this car oh, we're getting too close we're getting too close yeah okay so let's do that back over again oh my gosh <laughs> let's try it again this time further away <laughs> okay she's locking to the right okay much better okay perfect. but she should be able to get out of that kind of situation so these though. lines are just really messing Marsha yeah up. she wants to get back in here but then she has to overtake oh. these cars Okay. All right, we have oncoming cars now. Oh, oh. Ooh, yeah. ah! oh, oh What my did God. we just do? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, Re-engaging now. Oh, oh, I yeah, report that. Road here. Didn't it kind of like swing to the left there? Yeah, it did. did some swinging. <laughs> my heart is racing, but <laughs> deep breaths. You know, good thing we have that Daily Lab car diffuser there. <laughs> <laughs> link in the description. <laughs> check out the link in the description. And, and uh, yeah, you can always check out the previous video of our downtown where we introduced this and we actually did a stress test to see if we can move it with all the bouncing around. And, and especially just now, we had a little bit of bouncing around and it kept its uh, position. It's really easy to install. Beautiful thing about it is you can press it down like this, open it up and then snaps back in like that don't forget to use code spicy for 15 percent off yes now we have oncoming cars that may go straight and that also may go right we have cars also taking left turns too as well so it's a really complex left turn even though it looks simple it is it, it's a bit deceiving to be honest okay we have someone crossing the road with their kid and you have to make this left turn here a huge lineup of people now the positioning is a little bit off though should be like an S, right? Yes. Because then you can't see anything. Exactly. We have cars making left turns here. And really difficult now for us to, to make this left turn because of this Whoa. positioning here. <laughs> okay. I might have to take over, but it looks like cars are going straight. Oh no, my god. There's gosh. no indicator on that car, so that? we didn't know. I hate when they do that. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to disengage now, take over and make the left turn manually Wait, okay so we have to right right exactly so you have to get into the right turn lane now and uh yeah let's see we are we are in direct sunlight now i'm pretty much blinded <laughs> she can see <laughs> and that's good i mean that's good that it marsha could actually see with all you know di directly in, in, in sunlight and we have pedestrians crossing too as well so she has some pretty good sight on uh, how far they're out, actually. I think they go now. Uh, she has to go quickly. Okay, she can do that. Did she you go. give it jewels or she just did that? She did all that by herself. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. But I would say the left turn really needed some more quickness, though. So oh, and we have a lane there. ending here. Let's see. Is she going to recognize it or is she just going to... Brute force. Brute force. Like, well, this lane doesn't exist anymore. Let me just move over. Yeah. I want to see, though. Um, yeah, okay. You can yeah. work. Okay. Okay, so now we have um, a blind corner. We have this car. This car what is not heck? in his lane. Like, they have so much room. <laughs> it looks good. She, um, she didn't freak out because I probably would have freaked out. Yeah. I probably would have like jerked to the right or something. That's true. If I saw well, that. In terms of how good the car performed in that in that particular instance. I was expecting some heartbreaking to be honest. Or some overreaction. But she kept it cool, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we have a left turn here. We have cars that can go straight. We don't have right away, so I'm surprised. Um, he just he just went hello? like that. <laughs> oh my okay, god. Okay, like, Marsha does better than a human driver. Exactly. She needs to stop right now here. I'm not too sure why, why she's she pushing creeping? forward like that. Yeah. We can go now. 
And she's also kind of creeping in a way that if she got hit, she would go in front of the person. Yes. So she should probably report that. It needs to not have the wheel um, in that direction. It needs to be straight. So that way, in the event of a rear end collision, we don't fly into the oncoming traffic. Yeah, that was a bit weird. And then also, it kind of freaks out the people who are going straight. They think like you're going to just go in front go of in them. Go in front of them, exactly, yes. A lot of things that we're realizing now, and, and the reason why we have it on, uns on assertive is because when we have it on average mode, it, it tends to be very timid, it tends to be um, lacking confidence. So I want to see exactly if that behavior changes because we have it now on assertive mode. Is it going to make turns more assertively in terms of more confidently, more calculated, and so on, or is it just going to be aggressive? So, you know, this is a good test, especially in rush hour traffic when we're seeing all these different scenarios. Yeah, and um, she honestly, okay, uh, maybe like a 50%, I would say, like, perform better than the human, because, like, this person over here, like, they just went in front of the traffic. Yeah, exactly. And they weren't supposed to do that. If that person uh, in the oncoming lane was was to accelerate, they could have T-boned that car easily. Yeah, we could have literally just witnessed an accident. Yeah. That was, um, that was interesting, to say the least, because I think... I guess maybe they thought it was an, an arrow, but there's no arrow. No, there was, it was not a, a, a protected left turn, so mm -hmm. definitely was a wrong move by that driver. Yeah, that was... Um... <laughs> so, you see folks, you're seeing now the, the benefit of having a system that follows road rules to... A T. <laughs> to a T, you know, or to high level, a high level of accuracy or consistency because that's something that we might not be great at well humans aren't really great at being consistent over and over again yeah and especially if like maybe that person just came from work and they're tired and they're fatigued exactly so yeah it's maybe true. they didn't see too well potentially even so i think it's good if we have systems that are standardized like this gets into the lane in advance so that's great uh, could have let this person go though yes with some common courtesy built in but i don't think we have that neural net established as yet <laughs> i think they're trying to get in now i think they got it yeah they got in i find i feel like we're kind of going a little bit fast for this lane though because like in case anyone wants to swing in front of us we have to be careful that's true we could have we could slow down a little bit keep a little bit of uh, more gap between the car in front of us but i'm not too sure why she's you know Hanging i guess she's like, right? i guess trying to avoid the pedestrian at all costs i mean yes that's a, a built-in safety mechanism but then it's kind of awkward <laughs> it, it kind but of to be honest they're like legally they're not supposed to be there because they're ca they're causing a hazard for themselves and then it's kind of unfair to anyone that hits them they're gonna get in trouble <laughs> yeah fair enough sometimes i see people like walking in between the lanes and all kinds of stuff like it's crazy She did that, not you, right? Yes. I'm seeing some more responsiveness when it comes to cars moving up in the lane. So, for example, how this car moved up here slightly, the car responded, Marsha responded quickly, and I was able to follow them, essentially. So, would you say that she's keeping up with traffic well? Better than average mode so far. Oh, okay. So, this is more having to do with the mode rather than the update, as far yes. as you witnessed so far exactly okay do you think that that could have affected the speed that we just went at to, to go down this turning lane potentially because it reduces the follow distance so we have a protected left turn she's moving a little bit unassertively here <laughs> so gave it some slight jewels and we're a little bit close to that oh. center aisle there but yeah the reaction time was a little bit slow there yes for sure i'm just gonna could leave this down improved. for now Yes, when it makes those left turns, it needs to be a lot more assertive, a lot more confident. Because I find myself far too often just pressing the jewels and giving us some juice. Yeah, like there are certain scenarios when you do need the the quick lefts, which is a lot of times to be honest. But your lefts should be at least like 30 kilometers an hour. Right. That's what I learned in driving school. Interesting. Yeah, and then also too, like you can't be holding up the line either. That's like number one, to be honest. Yes. Besides the speed that you turn at. That was a little bit of a blind 
turn the uh, blind uh, navigation there because mm -hmm. oh now we have a digital uh, indicating sign of road closure of a pointing pointing to go to the right yeah. side okay but she i noticed that she sees this this diagonal arrow one pretty well usually like whenever they have that yes it always like works so we have a turn coming up just now and if it was me you know we have to make we have to make this left turn in, in 600 meters i would start indicating and getting myself into position well in advance especially if i'm trying to be assertive and okay so i'm hearing her ping so she's looking for the lane now but we have to get behind this truck yeah this person is following very closely behind the truck right okay let's see i think we so she indicates a... now she needs to get into the lane we have lots of room here Nice. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. Why? <laughs> hmm? Because he's up in people's um, behind. Oh. We gotta chill. Yeah. I mean, it's rush hour. They're rushing, right? <laughs> They're rushing to get there by the hour. <laughs> rushing to getting into an accident. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I mean, more likely, yes. So she indicates already she got into the lane. That was perfect, especially in these kind of conditions. I would more be already inside of the lane. And now we have now a very, well, it was busy, but we have a gap coming up soon. Well, actually we, we might. Hoping she doesn't zip across there, but it looks like she wants to do it. Uh, she um, waited way too yeah, long to she do does that. It. But she did do it pretty fast though. That was impressive. Yeah, we, we, ran, we actually went and made that turn at around close to 40 kilometers an hour. So. Wow. Yeah, that was a fast one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but um, I think the problem is that she's actually lagging to get into the turn rather than the turn itself is the problem. Mm. Like the discretion of how fast to go during the turn is decent but the actual lagging to start the turn is the problem ah makes sense because i honestly Cause it, once she makes it she doesn't really have an issue like differentiating which kind of turn to make well that's where the you know the confidence comes into play there's the timid like how it's timid to make mm -hmm. turns and so on like it has to commit you know like i need to feel that i need to feel that the car wants to make the left turn and wants to do so confidently and sometimes I feel like that's missing right now yeah. still. Oh yeah, not just the, the confidence, the courtesy as well. I think that's like one of the biggest things. Yes, come on courtesy. Because the it, both of those things are important to make a good left turn. Right, and you see now here that she just waited for the pedestrians to cross. And, and that's correct because they are supposed to be all the way across. That was good. I think she's just getting confused now. <laughs> okay. Well, folks, Marsha just took us to the park. We had oh, how many disengagements? It was mostly just for reporting. There was a lot of interventions too as well. Mm -hmm. um, I still honestly can't confidently say that, you know, we can go here without uh, disengagement. During rush hour. <laughs> During rush hour. Uh, I still don't feel completely confident to, you know, just leave it to its own devices i mean it's a beta still but but um overall it was it was decent assertive mode seems to be keeping up with the traffic better mm -hmm. because of the the shorter follow distance and uh, it still it still lacks confidence when it comes to making those left turns but overall it was a decent uh, decent attempt honestly the biggest thing was the lag on the left turns mm. to be honest the rest were kind of quality of life or safety kind of things like minor safety changes facing you know the opposing traffic in case you get hit or um even like when we we're going down that that lane that was empty but the rest was in traffic like we didn't have to go that fast so it, it is it is lacking some defensive driving skills in mm -hmm. terms of knowing the rule of just turning your wheel um, to the right when you have mm -hmm. oncoming cars on the left and you're making a left turn to, to prevent any kind of trajectory into the oncoming traffic which will be worse than if you got rear-ended right or if someone side swipes you on the side Right. So, because you're, you know, that's how physics works. And then you also have the lane positioning is off too. So there, there, there needs to be some, 
improvements with lane positionings. Right. And of course, we all spoke about, we both spoke about the confidence on the turns. Yeah, I, I like what you said there about the defensive driving. And I mean, you know me and my cynical view of California, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think if they have more data of defensive driving as opposed to aggressive driving, because even assertive mode is not assertive, it's just aggressive. Mm. And there is a difference between the two. Defensive driving can be assertive, but assertive driving can't be aggressive. I think that is very important in terms of the training of the data and prioritizing what data to train. For the most part, it was okay. It was pretty minor things. Yeah. Except, I don't know how to feel about the beginning though, that random like that swerve. recognition, yeah. That has always been a, a, an issue and I'm hoping with overtime, overtime with training, it somehow it just, <laughs> it would perform better. But we'll yeah. see, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Thank you again, folks. So don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. And of course, if you want to get yourself one of these Daily Lab car diffusers, we have the link in the description for the discount 15% off. And also it will help lend some support to the channel as we continue our journey together. Thank you and have a good one. Bye. Bye.